So what is a co-creative leader? I started talking about this a few years ago. Uh, I've been doing consulting for the last five, six years, and I started noticing that inside organizations, when you look at the leadership styles that are presently there, there's a lot of directiveness. There's a lot of command and control type of thing. And I realized, you know, through time that some leaders with the different generations that are on the market right now have a better way of communicating, have a better way of uh, being able to speak with their teams and not have not be like the last word. The type of leader that says something and then no one, you know, no one answers because the boss just said something. So that's what we're going to do. Right. That's not a co-creative leader for me. A co-creative leader is a leader that will put ideas on the table and that will listen to people share what they have to say around the idea. They'll find good ideas in the ideas of others and build upon them. Uh, they'll help people, you know, be leaders inside the their organizations because, you know, headcounts are like a bar of gold now inside organizations. Hiring people is tough and we hire people and they're all motivated and then we conform them into the mold of this company and then the lights get snuffed out. So co-creative leaders unleash the leaders around them. They understand that leaders create leaders. Another aspect of co-creative leadership is learning by doing and not being afraid to to make mistakes, to try something and for it not to be absolutely perfect the first time around. It's not about trying and failing, it's about trying and learning and then seeing what's the next step to get towards where you're trying to get. Another aspect of co-creative leadership is understanding the system around you. And instead of trying to manage the people, it's called managing the system, really. What, what conversations are happening around me? What conversations aren't happening but really should? And how do I bring that into the picture? And another aspect around co-creative leadership for me is leaders that build capacity on their teams. And what I mean by that is, you know, sometimes as leaders, we'll ask people on our teams, do this. And people don't know how to do it. And then we blame them for failing when really as leaders, we have a responsibility to show, teach them how to do stuff and, and then let them go. And if you tie all of those pieces together, that's co-creative leadership.